Well, now to our Facts Not Fear coverage of COVID-19. And right now, the BA5 subvariant is circulating in the U.S. and maybe the most contagious yet. It accounts for more than half of cases with infections surging across all age groups tonight. And to give us more information on the latest strain, Dr. Joseph Gustaldo from Ohio Health joins us now. Dr. G, good to see you again. Andrew, Yolanda, thanks for having me. Great to see you. Great. This seems to be, it's, it's, I guess, just going higher now. It's, it's ramping back up. So how long has this strain been around, and do we know when it arrived here in the U.S.? Yeah, so let's break it down for you. BA.5 is the latest subvariant. It's still SARS coronavirus 2, the virus that causes COVID-19. We first noticed it in our genetic sequencing as reported by the CDC in early June, and it has upticked. Now, let's break it down for you, because when you first hear about BA.5, it does sound scary. Uh, two things about it that are concerning. Number one, it is the most transmissible or most contagious variant we have seen to date. In fact, if you even have a short arrive with somebody, that's enough to really cause infection. The second thing is previous infection, including Omicron and the vaccines, really do not provide a good layer of protection against infection. However, here's the good news. The vaccines, especially when you are boosted, still provide a great layer of protection against severe disease resulting in hospitalization or death. So again, the vaccines don't really work well uh, as do previous infection against infection, but they still prevent you from dying. And that's what really matters the most. Right. In addition, the treatments still work and uh, we have other tools available. So the reports that we're hearing, Dr. G, that this strain is resistant to the vaccine, that's true? Well, again, the vaccines do not really provide a great layer of protection against infection. However, the vaccines, if you do get infection, are going to keep you out of the hospital and going to prevent you from dying. And that's what the vaccines were designed to do. Mm. Mm. And it does seem like a lot more people are getting it. You know, another round, I know half my neighborhood had it. and uh, But they're not getting as sick, and that's a good thing. Now, we are seeing mass That's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, we are seeing mass mandates return in some states. Is that something Ohio needs to start thinking about again? Well, we need to follow that accordingly. Nobody wants to be told the CDC guidance is if you live in an area with high community levels, masks should be worn indoors regardless of your vaccination status. And if you look at the map, that's a lot of Florida, it's New York City, and a lot of other areas. Uh, we only have a few red counties here in Ohio. Right now, Franklin County is green or low community level, but that could change. Yeah, we'll continue to watch this through the weeks to come each Thursday when those new numbers come out. Dr. Joseph Gustado, Ohio Health, we appreciate your time and your insight.